Have you ever pondered the intriguing question of how the amount of money in circulation impacts the price level in an economy? Well, this question is not as abstract as it seems, and the answer lies in the heart of an economic theory known as the quantity theory of money. This theory, primarily attributed to the distinguished economist Irving Fisher, presents a fascinating equation MV equals PT that lays out the relationship between money and prices in an economy. Now, this may sound like a cryptic code, but it's actually a simple and elegant equation that breaks down into four key components, M, V, P, and T. Firstly, M stands for the money supply. It refers to the total amount of monetary assets available in an economy at a specific time. This could include both physical currency, like coins and banknotes, and also digital currency and bank accounts. Next, we have V, which represents the velocity of money. This is a measure of the frequency with which a unit of money is used to purchase goods and services within a specific period. In simpler terms, it represents how fast money changes hands in an economy. Moving on, P represents the price level. This is a measure of the average prices of goods and services in an economy. It's a way of understanding how much purchasing power a unit of currency has. Finally, T represents the volume of transactions. This refers to the total number of economic transactions that take place within a specific period. So, when we put it all together, Fisher's equation, MV equals PT, suggests that the money supply multiplied by its velocity equals the price level multiplied by the volume of transactions. Now, let's delve deeper into the quantity theory of money. This theory asserts a direct and proportional relationship between the quantity of money in circulation and the price level in an economy. It assumes a stable velocity of money, implying that the speed at which money changes hands doesn't change significantly over short periods. Therefore, the theory suggests that when the money supply increases, with the velocity of money and the volume of transactions remaining stable, there will be a corresponding rise in the price level, leading to inflation. Similarly, if the money supply decreases, it leads to a drop in the price level, resulting in deflation. In summary, the quantity theory of money provides a lens to understand the role of money in an economy and its impact on price levels. It emphasizes the influence of the money supply in causing inflation or deflation. And while it's a simplification of reality, it offers a useful starting point in the quest to comprehend the complex world of economics.